Have you ever wondered if you could use your air compressor in the truck to operate air tools? Well, we're gonna find out. I went to the store and I got one of these that did have a, a, a normal air truck on this side, but I swapped it out for, for this attachment right here. And I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna try to run some of these air tools I got. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, it's a little noisy out here, but we can probably make it anyway. So, I got my uh, red airline. I'm trying to piece these bad boys together. Alright, I'm going to go push in the red button now. I got a, a drill. I'm gonna uh, fix this. Uh, you want to get over here? There we go. See, this broke off in here, and uh, what I'm planning on doing is just popping a hole through there, and I'm gonna zip tie it in. So I'll show you when it's done. All right. So I started the truck up, so it would uh, keep the air charged. So since all those brackets were broken, I had to uh, make a new place to mount it, and so that's what I did. I just drilled a hole through here and here, and I'm going to put a zip tie in it. Uh, that'll at least keep it from flopping around when I'm going down the road. I'll trim this off here. i got some uh, scissors in there. I'll cut it up. Here's the other side. I put some wire in there to try to hold it up so it wasn't going to fall off going down the road. But now I'm going to go ahead and pop another hole on this side and zip it in. So I had a mud flap break off on the front, a splash guard, whatever it is. I, I took it off. It's supposed to look like that one over there. But for whatever reason, they keep breaking off. And so I was just taking this off and uh, I was going to remove it with an air hammer. I already got it nice and loose, but I figured this will make short work of it. Get the persuader. We got it off. Now to spend 50 more bucks to put a new one on. 